welcome back to Pannonia metal detecting channel and today we decided to give this field a check it's one of the my older fields where, where I detect where I managed to find some medieval silver and stuff like that so I decided to return and give it a try with my Frankenstein Ace 400 and uh, I have been detecting for about an hour nothing too special, some bullets, foil and the usual trash and we managed to find ourselves a first decent find it's a small silver coin and I believe it's a Hungarian one we have cross on this side I hope that you can see it on the camera with two horizontal bars and on the back I was managed to see uh, a crown but I don't know how that is visible on the camera but uh, it will be visible when we clean it back home so maybe this day could be interesting one so I see you at the next fine Okay, so we got ourselves a uh, next find and uh, this is a iron relic and I have to say it's a beautiful one well, not the condition but the find Take a look at this This is a arrow tip from medieval times And I have to say, it's a remarkable, at least in my eyes. I don't find these too often. I managed to uncover a few pieces, but not the complete ones. But this is obviously, here we can see the hole, which go on top of the wooden arrow, and this is the iron tip. So not a everyday find I think especially because because it is a iron piece so looking nice I have to say could this be site of a battle I don't believe so, but nonetheless, it's a cool find. Okay, see you at the next find. Okay, so we got ourselves the next find, and this small baby boy was uh, sitting right on the surface of this field it's a small silver coin and uh, I recognize this coin it's a just a second to get into the shadow so basically this is a silver obol and uh, two obols two silver obols were wood making one silver denar and this specific obol was minted under the King Sigismund I'm not too sure about the year but I remember the name and basically on this side we have cross and in the corners of all four sides of the cross we have the small crowns and on the back dropped it on the back right now it's not visible but we have the coat of arms of King Sigismund of Hungary so when I clean it I will post photos but I don't know how to compare the size of this coin it's a 
tiny, tiny coin. As you can see, my fingers really, really small. But I have to say the condition is uh, looking great. Probably we'll just clean it in the regular water. Nothing too special. But we will see. Okay. On to the next one. Okay. We have the next find. And it's a another well not anymore but it uh, used to be a silver coin and uh, it was in this hole I don't know how you seeing this on the camera but on this side it uh, has a crown a small crown and on, on the other side it's a cross with two verticals, two horizontal bars. There's letter A, and on this side I cannot recognize the letter, but uh, it's a definitely Hungarian Croatian Kingdom coin. So maybe we will be able to identify it I'm not too sure but it was uh, I believe it was cut by the plow or crushed by a tractor or something because it is bent on the top but at least it's visible some parts of it are still visible okay see you the next one okay so we have the next next find and uh, it's a bit unusual one well at least for these fields over here this is the remains of a Roman fibula and uh, I usually don't find these items over here so basically this is something new There is a piece, there is a piece which, which was uh, somewhere over here and over here there would be a needle or a pin, so nonetheless interesting item, moving on. I believe we are having a cracking find and for sure find of the day on this field. It's a silver coin and I believe in epic condition. Uh, let's see. What we have over here I believe it's a crown Yep, it's a crown with a flower beneath it and the uh, other side Is that eagle? Yes, it's an eagle. Ooh. This is not a usual one for me, I have to say. I hope I will be able to identify this piece, but I believe it has to have something with the 
the Polish dynasty which ruled uh, over Hungary and Croatia for one period Yagi, Yagielon, Yagielon dynasty or something like that because that's for sure a Polish eagle with the crown on top uh, backside backside motif it's for sure Hungarian one this crown in the middle but and it's uh, quite bigger than the coins, coins which I usually find but I hope I will be able to identify it it's looking amazing I have to say amazing silver hammer coin okay see you I hope there is more of these see you the next one Welcome back to the part 2 of this video on the last day I received an urgent call uh, I, have to, I have to do some stuff which I cannot delay and uh, today I decided to go back on these fields which I started the other day and uh, I'm on the field for about 15 minutes and we already have the first find and it's a good one it was in this hole over here yes, I hope you can see it it's a small silver coin and uh, the earth crust on this coin is uh, really thick but I managed to clean it a little bit and uh, I saw the word Hungarie which is uh, well self-explainable it's a Hungarian coin, silver. Uh, I believe on this particular model we will be able to see a date. I'm like 100% sure because it's a well relatively newer, somewhere from 15, 1600s. So these uh, clean really, really nice. So I hope. That I will be able to post some nice photos of this coin so hopefully we will be able to find some more I really like these small small medieval or early modern period hammered silver because they always have a, a history behind it with a ruler who issued it or something interesting to say okay See you at the next point. Okay, so we have find a next cool item on this field. This is a silver ring, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. Is it silver? As you can see, it's been squashed down. Yes, definitely is a ring. But is it silver? I'm not too sure. To me, it looks like silver, but it has, it has a really really strong crust on it so I will try to clean it back home and we will see what it is if it's silver then it's a great thing but if not it's a sad one because uh, it's been squashed down like this unfortunately by the tractor or something but we shall see what it is. I will assume it's the same period as the silver coin which we found a few minutes ago. So 
maybe from the same guy who knows okay see you at the next fine okay so we have the next find and it's a rare occasion that I don't have a clue from where this from where the coin is from which period or which empire or kingdom or something but this is something which I see for the first time in my life it was literally here on the surface it ringed straight 1881 and uh, I just pressed with my pin pointer and removed the dirt and this thing fell out as I can see on this side we have two figures with uh, some sort of cross below it's a pyramid or something like that at least that uh, is uh, it looks first to me and on the back side I don't know some sort of wheel or something like that like I said it's a really rare occasion when I don't recognize the the symbols or pattern or something to recognize the coin but this one is a mystery to me it will take Research, I'm sure, but I hope that we will be able to identify these pieces. So I hope it's something good. Uh, to be honest, it's looking a bit older, like much older. But like I said, it just can, it's, the looks are the same. Okay, so we have the next find, and uh, I believe it's a Roman coin. On this field, on this field, it's uh, a bit unusual, but what you can do, it's still glued to this piece of cloth. So now we will reveal it gently. Imprint has left, and let's see what we have. Definitely Roman coin. It's been it's been uh, pretty worn out. So as far as the identification goes, I don't believe we will have success. But nonetheless, cool item. Okay, Roman coin. Let's see what else we can we can find in this field. See ya.